Hey yo, what's up? Mine was mine, and today we're going to be talking about the 10 things that I think are pretty likely to happen for Hydale in 2023. Let's start off with the first and probably most obvious one. We are most definitely going to be getting a blog post this year. Last year we got a total of two blog posts. We usually always get a summer blog post. Oh my god, I have something in my eye. Ah, uh, what is that? We usually get two blog posts, a summer blog post and a winter blog post. Did we get a winter blog post? Did we only get one blog post? Oh my god, we only got one blog post last year. Last year we got one blog post and it was in summer 2022. Now I have very high hopes that we get at least one blog post, but I think now that we're getting a bit closer to the release date again, we're probably going to be getting two if not three or even four blog posts, one for every quarter of the year. What they're going to be talking about is a good question, but we have some of those points later on in the videos. So you don't want to miss out on that. I'm going to now hand it over to Chris or Canadian Flash for number two of what we want to see of Hytale in 2023. Free to play versus pay to play. This has been probably the most heated debated topic in Hytale since the beginning. There's been a lot of Reddit wars between pay to play and free to play. And I'm sure you guys know I am on the free to play side. To me, free to play means that pretty much literally anybody in the entire world who has a system that can run the specific game can play the game. All you need is like a small little phone. You can probably do it on a Nokia or even your like smart toilet if you really wanted to. But free to play versus play to play. I am pro free to play and I would absolutely love it if Hytale could finally showcase or even tell us what their method is going to be for the full game. Maybe once we get confirmation on whether the game will be pay to play or free to play, the next thing up will probably be like name reservation or maybe even the beta and that would be so fantastic for us to get because this is just news that we've been waiting for for so long and once again it'll finally end all those reddit debates and then once the game is free to play, I am a big free to play stand, I can't wait to go on reddit and tell all those those Redditors that are like, oh, pay to play is so much better, that free to play is the better method for the game, and especially for longevity of the game. You want free to play, so many more people will play the game. Sure, there will be microtransactions, but literally every game has microtransactions now. I'm sure it won't be pay to win, I'm sure it'll be pay to look cool. So for me, I would absolutely love it if Hytale actually said something this year about free to play versus pay to play. For number three, I want to see more bosses. What kind of bosses are we going to be able to expect from Hytale? Very Baron is a very mysterious yet popular character in the world of Orbis. Is this going to be even a character that we can fight? Or is he more so an overlooming enemy that summons things that we can fight? Could be interesting to look more into that, and hopefully we find more information about Baron. We know there's a giant void spider in one of the concept arts. That could be a very interesting but possibly even very scary fight to deal with. But what are some other bosses that we don't know about? Maybe they want to show us a boss in zone one, zone two, and so on. A boss for each of the zones, and then go more into detail about how we're going to be able to fight these bosses, what they might give us, or why we might even want to fight them in the first place. I think bosses are a super interesting concept and definitely something that will entice players to keep playing for the late game. So more information about that will always be welcome for 2023. Another very important thing that I want to see in 2023 is going to be more elements towards the story of Hytale. Recently, we really haven't seen a lot for the story of the game. In fact, it's really been since like 2018, even 2019, maybe even 2020, since the last time we got even some sort of concept arts that have really showcased anything about the story. Back in 2018 and 2019, a lot of us creators actually made a bunch of lore theory videos, like theorizing on what we think will happen in the game and even try to predict what the story is. But now all those theories are pretty much dried up and we really have nothing else to go off of. So in 2023, if we can get some more story elements, I would absolutely love that. And Hytale team, please please just drop some more concept art. We really need that. Maybe drop a little teaser there on Twitter. That'll be fantastic. And then you'll get us theorizing once again. And for number five, a timeline is exactly what I want to see in 2023. A place to show us, hey, this is exactly where we are in the current development of Hytale. And this is what we have left. This is the next few months that we're planning on. And in a year, we'll be at this stage of development. I think that would help a lot of people who might be wondering, hey, you spent more than four years working on this game now what have you actually accomplished and I think this is a good way to help solidify their grounds like hey this is exactly what we're working on this is why it took that time and this is kind of how much time we still need I'm not expecting a big like hey this is exactly when 
we're going to be working on things and this is the moment of when the game comes out and although that that will be nice i think that's a bit harder to estimate a general idea of like hey in this quarter we are working on ai development and in this quarter we're working on the multiplayer server status whatever something to let us know hey you know what you spent this much time but you've also made this much progress i think that's worth it because a lot of people are just thinking they've spent four years on it i haven't really seen anything i don't know if this is worth it for number six i think we're gonna be able to see a beta in 2023 and now hear me out i know that's far-fetched but i brought canadian flash and i in a call together and here's exactly what our thoughts are on that all right chris let's talk beta what do you think we're gonna see in the beta I think we're going to see quite not a lot of things in the beta as it is a beta, you know. They want to iron out some things that they don't really right. know how it'll pan out with like a lot of different players playing it. I think some of the big things probably going to be the model maker that'll be very important. You can see people just pumping out all those creations and getting ready for the full release of the game. And then obviously I think we'll get maybe like an early teaser of like the adventure mode, maybe an early teaser of the multiplayer and that's that's probably about it. it seems good enough for the beta yeah i think i think i'm right there with you i think model maker is something very important i think coding and like the modding elements are going to be there because they want to test out how that works for sure uh and then i'm right there with you with adventure mode uh as well i think they're going to show maybe like the first two hours of story or something mm -hmm. uh, and then keep the rest for the full release i think the survival like without story i think they're going to give that to us though that's fair. maybe with maybe with some restrictions i don't know how they restrict that uh, but I think, yeah, story, story, they're definitely going to limit to to a small bit to keep us enticed for the full game. Yeah, like, I was then, even thinking just, like, maybe zone 1, 2, and 3, and then maybe not even, like, the final boss battle in those zones. Just, like, very basic yeah. stuff. When do you think the beta's going to come out, though? Ooh. That's a very important question. The big Ooh, one. That's, that's a big one. That's a big one. A lot of people are saying 2023. I really hope so. So, like, if anything, probably late 2023, early 2024. But you know what? I I'll be realistic here and say, like, January 2024. Let's go with January that. January 2024. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to stay optimistic then. I'm going to say... I like it. November. Ooh. <laughs> Once again, Ooh. November 2023. <laughs> wow. That's, that's bold, the beta. That is very It's very bold. bold. It's very, very bold, bold. But, hey, we got we got to stay optimistic. I think we're going to get it, and then mm -hmm. we're going to get the full release. I love it. And those were my top five things I want to see of Hytale in 2023. If you want to see the other five, link is down in the description for Canadian Flash's part. <laughs>